Hi guys, welcome to GameHog. So today and for the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be talking about virtual reality. Now VR is one of those things that you're probably gonna be seeing a lot of over the coming months, namely because the Oculus Rift has recently done its pre-order and will start delivering over the next couple of months as well. So the main headsets you would have probably seen are the Oculus Rift, which is owned by Facebook, the HTC Vive, which is being helped out by Valve, who for those of you who aren't aware of Valve, are also in charge of Steam, which is the PC gaming system. There's also gonna be the PlayStation VR, which is exclusively for the PlayStation 4. And then also you've got mobile phone based ones. So Samsung have released the Galaxy Gear VR. Galaxy Gear VR is exclusively for Samsung phones that fits right over your head. You slot your phone in and then your phone operates as the screen on the device. Now Google have come up with an ingenious, cheap, ineloquent solution to this called Google Cardboard. Their name literally suggests what it is, it's made entirely of cardboard. So the real advantage of the Google Cardboard is that most of the mainstream headsets have a price range of around $300 to $400. And then you also require a big, powerful computer in order to run it. With the Google Cardboard, you can spend anywhere between $15 to $25, depending on the quality of the headset you want. Your phone literally just slips into the front with a little bit of force, and then there you go. That's the headset done. You literally pop on an app, put that on your head, and you're looking around in a virtual room. It's incredibly cool. Although what you do need is you do need to have a phone that's got some reasonable specs. The reason Samsung only do it on their latest phones is because those have really, really good specs. So for instance, I've got a Samsung Galaxy S6, and this will run on this fairly well. If you were trying to use maybe an iPhone 5, which is a bit older, it may not run as well. The reason you want it to run well is because games need to run at a certain frame rate for you to not feel motion sick. So that's why the PlayStation VR, for instance, has to come with a separate little kind of processing unit. And that has to help it out because it needs to process a really fast speed for each eye so that we don't get motion sick. So with this, you do get around 60 frames per second a lot of the time, which for those of you who are into video gaming or have seen YouTube videos, you'll know that 60 frames per second has this incredibly smooth quality. Most of the ones like the Oculus Rift are, and the HTC Vive are trying to go for 90 frames per second, whilst the PlayStation is going for 120. So 120 is going to have absolutely none of that. What we're going to be doing over the next couple of weeks is we're going to be trying to show you some experiences and games that you'll find for mobile for VR. So you, any of you guys can go out, buy your own Google Cardboard, and you can watch some of our videos and see where to go to buy some of these games. So like I said, we'll be showing you games. You all know what a VR game is like. It can involve you throwing a hoop or something and looking around. But then an experience is more like a kind of rail, like you're in a, a theme park. It, a little experience happens around you, a movie happens around you, and then you can kind of see it all happening. So we'll be showing you those over the next couple of weeks. Thank you very much for watching this guys and I hope this has been reasonably informative introducing you to the Google Cardboard. If this is something you've enjoyed leave us a like and a comment to let us know if you'd like to see more of these. Also do give us a subscription because it's always helping out the channel. Anyway guys we'll see you in the next one. Meet your maker! Yes! Taste my bow! Oh god. And my axe. A uh, prop from a film starring Bruce Willis, quite an old film. Uh, Die Hard? Hard? No, um, it's got a woman with very strange uh, ginger hair in it. Um, Jurassic World? No, sci-fi themed.